I thought God was, was calling us to start a church that was invitational and inclusive. One that lifted up Jesus, but lifted up Jesus for all people. I believe th that we need a church that's not just for Republicans or Democrats, but, but that actually uh, seeks to do something about the division that we see in the world. A place where relationships can trump those ideologies. I think God wants a church in the city, not just in fast-growing suburbs, but, but in the heart of a city where there is, believe me, I know plenty of problems. There's injustice, there's hurt, there's poverty, there's hopelessness, but there's also so much promise, so much need. I think God needs a church that's invested in, in, in the city that it's in to be light in the darkness and hope in times of despair. I think God wanted a church that would take seriously racial injustice and the idea that Sunday morning is just as segregated as any other time. I, I think God wants a church that would be fun, that puts love before judgment, belonging before challenge, acceptance be, before suspicion, that engages, you know, not just your heart and your hands, but also your, your mind, that takes scripture seriously and is willing to rethink faith and I think God wants that. I think God needs a church that's engaging. Where, where addicts find hope and, and help for the lives that they want to live. Where skeptics um, have space to just think and ask questions. Where indifferent people, and I see it all the time, are reconnected to God in a way that transforms the, the kind of lives they are and the kind of spouse or parent or worker that they are. Where parents are, are reminded of what's most important, where unemployed people don't have to feel ashamed and where employed people are challenged to see their work differently, where young people don't feel like kind of an afterthought, where divo divorced people don't have to come in, in shame. I want a place where you can come whether you're messy or successful, whether you see yourselves as, as killing it in life or, or a failure at life, a place where where we don't put worldly identity first, but we, we, we put our identity as followers of Christ first. I believe God desperately needs a church that actually follows Jesus. Not what someone said about Jesus, but Jesus, who, who listens and lives life differently because of Jesus.